dragons. Look, dragons. We're live in Miss Doll's classroom. We found some ladybugs. Oh, I don't want to talk too loud. Look. Just like Miss Doll's class said, they've got ladybugs. And we know that they're a friend of flame. We're going to learn a little bit more about these wonderful creatures, dragons. Stay tuned. Good morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame. Henrietta's back because it's a friend of Flame. Henrietta's a friend of Flame. We have some other friends of Flame we got to get to. We're glad you made it back to the show, and we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Thursday, September 29th, 2022, and we had a hint last week about what this friend of Flame day was going to be. Right, Henrietta? You might remember. Before we get going on that, dragons, let's hear what Rateel has to say. Take it away, Rateel. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the public for which you stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the team that's at all, not for the moment of silence. Magnificent job, Rateel. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Flame, the sun is going to rise today at 7.03 in the morning. And Henrietta, the sun is going to set at 6.55 in the evening on this beautiful Thursday. And dragons, you might remember, that's right. You might remember that last week we got a little tip from Miss Doll that she has some ladybugs. And you saw that in the introduction, right? We found... Miss Doll's ladybugs, which are undoubtedly a friend of flame. A friend of flame for all of us. And not only are they a friend for many creatures, but they are harmless to humans. They're actually delightful to be around, and they are beautiful. And did you know, dragons, not all ladybugs are red. A lot of ladybugs are red, but not all ladybugs are red. They might come in different shades of red, or maybe even white, if we find a very rare ladybug. But... We want to see if some of the dragons know some things about ladybugs, just like you do, Flame, right? So let's, you know, <laughs> Henrietta, you save the day. Dragons, we did not have our normal note card, so we had to slice up a Cheerios box. We, <laughs> we had to imp improvise and be flexible, right? But don't worry, the questions will go on. Don't worry, dragons, right? So, oh, I almost got the wrong question. Let's try this one. All right, ladybugs, dragons. Are they herbivores, which means they eat only plants? Are they carnivores, which means they eat only meat? Or are they omnivores, which means they eat both plants and meat? You got a Cheerios box, Flame. What do you think? No. No, that's not right, Flame. I w I'm going to give you credit, Henrietta. They are carnivores. You might say they're omnivores, but over 95% of ladybug species eat only these tiny things called aphids. Aphids, right? Look at this picture, right? Of the aphids. And those aphids are harmful because when they hatch, they immediately go to farmer's crops or different plants, and ladybugs come and save the day. They eat the aphids and other tiny insects. So with that in mind, dragons, ladybugs, are they predators, which means they're on the hunt? Are they prey, which means they're being hunted? Or are they both predator and prey? We haven't done this question in a while, dragons. Are they the hunter, predator? Are they prey, they're hunted? Or are they both predator and prey? Good flame. And what's that? Yeah, oh, that's fine. I'll tell. Yes, good flame. They're both predator and prey. But dragons, did you know that ladybug spots, those black spots are a warning to predators to say, Guess what, Predators? I am not very tasty. I am not tasty. You will not like the taste that I have. So you might want to consider staying away. Even though they're both, they don't get eaten too often. All right, ladybug population. Are we least concerned about their population, which means there are plenty of ladybugs? Are they threatened, which means their numbers are going down? Or are they endangered, which means if we're not careful, we might lose ladybugs. 
No, Flame, that's, no, we're, they are, butts at him, yes, we, they are threatened, dragons, they are threatened, and their numbers of ladybugs have gone down due to climate change and different animals living in different spots throughout the world, so the number of ladybugs has gone down. They're not endangered, but their still numbers are going down. Now, we've never done this. This is what happens when you get a Cheerio box. We're going to do true or false for two questions. All right, here's your first true or false question, dragons. Ready? A ladybug has eight legs. True or false? A ladybug has eight legs. True or false? What's that, Henrietta? Oh, it is false. Excellent. Yes, you got that too, Flame. A ladybug has six tiny legs, six little legs that help it scooty scoot, and they even have two wings that are hidden underneath that shell of theirs, that soft shell. All right, true or false? Ladybugs hibernate. They hide and stay warm in the winter. True or false? Yes, Flame, you are correct. Ladybugs do hibernate. That is true, because if they don't, they might get frozen, and we don't want that when they come out in the spring. It is a beautiful sight. And did you know, did you know, dragons, that ladybugs are actually beetles? They're these friendly little beetles. When we think of beetles, we think of something that might be a little different in their shape, maybe a little longer, maybe have something at the end where their head is, but ladybugs are actually beetles, and they will eat up to 5,000 insects in their short lifetime. And if they feel like they might be under attack by a bigger creature, like a praying mantis or something, they play dead. They play dead. They're highly intelligent. So we hope you enjoyed ladybugs. We know Miss Doll's class enjoys ladybugs. And maybe if you see one or any other friends of flame, right, like last week's woodpecker, take a photo. We would love to see you in action with it. Da -da -da. It's time for the birthday box. Whoa, no birthdays yesterday. That was crazy stuff, right, Henrietta? But don't worry, dragons. We are back in the saddle today with birthdays. So today is September 29th. Mackenzie Gallagher. Mackenzie in pre-K. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. And then oh, Matteo Padilla Rosselli. Oh, happy birthday to you, Matteo, in kindergarten. That is wonderful stuff. A pair of dragons on this prime number day. And dragons, it's Thursday. And it's an important day because it's Regulation Thursday. We've got to regulate dragons no matter if we're in a zone that isn't our best self. And that got us to thinking, right? In the zones of regulation, check out this book, The Grouchy Ladybug. Ooh, red. Red zone grouchy ladybug. And that sometimes when we're angry and stuck, right, what do we need? We might need some space. We might need a snack, Right? Just to feel like we're in, in that red zone, dragons, we are irritated. And we don't want to be like that, right? There's, there's different regulation strategies that we can use and we can return to. Just like Eric Carl depicted the grouchy ladybug. And we love Eric Carl. He probably regulated quite a bit. But the grouchy ladybug. Maybe Miss Vickers has a copy. Maybe you've read this already. But when you get into your morning meeting to address this, this is the most important morning meeting of the week. Because we get to regulate share what makes us feel calmer, get closer to that green zone that we want to be in. Maybe you too can be that, not grouchy ladybug, but a happy ladybug, going about their day knowing that you use your strategies. So, on behalf of Flame, and on behalf of Henrietta, I'm Mr. Slerno. Have an awesome and wonderful Thursday, dragons. See the goodness, be the goodness, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.